Hi and welcome to this week's product review where we're looking at the swags we use on our gone touring adventures. These swags are made by Sue Jensen from Wombat Country Canvas at South Colon near Bundaberg in Queensland. We first spotted Sue and her swags at a bike show in Rockhampton a few years back. A couple of our mates ordered swags off her and they've been more than happy with them. So we asked Sue if she'd make us a couple of swags for our adventures and uh, if we could have a few little extras and she was more than happy to oblige. In fact, she offered to make us a couple of custom swags. The first thing she suggested was a heavy canvas base with an oil skin top. This would provide the best weatherproof option. She told us that few people know that Australia's famous oil skin fabric was actually born at sea. Sailors at the turn of the century discovered old ship sails could be waterproofed with linseed and whale oil and sewn into incredibly protective wet weather gear. It didn't take long for the fame of the oiled fabric to spread to the land. Australian farmers and stockmen at last had a fabric that would not only keep them dry in the heaviest thunderstorms, but strong enough to withstand the working life on the land. Many an oilskin coat or cape became a bed for the night under the stars, or even an emergency shelter for newborn sheep. Needless to say, with a great wrap like that, the choice to go with an oilskin top was pretty easy. Before we take the swag off the bike, just have a look at its position. See the rain flap faces down, which means that when the rain hits the swag, it runs off and not back in underneath. So this way, when it's sitting on here, it's really waterproof. Also, we've had some extra D-rings fitted to our straps, as you can see here. Uh, these are so we can put this handy little cargo net on, because uh, when the dark clouds roll in, uh, it's quite easy to get our wet weather gear off the bike and uh, get into it. One of the features of this swag is the mattress is only 650 millimetres wide, which means it's quite a compact swag when it's on a motorcycle. On our touring bikes, it's about the same width as the uh, saddlebags, but it's great for um, throwing on the old FXR like it is today for a quick overnighter. The other thing is it comes with a handy carry handle, so it's easy to carry around. The first thing we do is check out the ground in front of us to make sure that uh, it's free from sticks and debris so we can get a good night's sleep. So we'll just quickly clean these sticks up. It only takes a few minutes to erect this swag. So first we uh, undo all the straps. If it's a cold breezy night, you can fasten the foot end of the swag down with these clips to prevent any draught while still having the headroom open for a comfortable sleep. Okay, here's the swag rolled out basically as a traditional swag. Um, it's made with some fairly sturdy zippers and what we're going to do here is unzip it. Uh, and if you're using it indoors, you can basically just pull it out like that. and. Um, and camp in it just basically as a sleeping bag and a mattress. Anyway, back to the tent setup. Um, Sue's made us a couple of bags, uh, made us this great bag here to put our tent poles in. We purchased these tent poles from one of the camping shops. Uh, we did find we had to cut about three inches off them so that they didn't uh, tear when they were in the um, inside the swag. This is the bag with the um, tent pegs in them as well as a few other little knickknacks we forgot. So before we get too carried away, I might just show you a couple of things we've done. We've got Sue to throw us in some uh, extra pockets up here. So we've got a change of clothes, some toiletries, stubby holder for later on. For, um, got jeans, a spare pair of clothes. We also got this uh, microfiber towel, which is Great, we leave this towel in the um, swag all the time. And uh, it, the reason we've got it, it's very lightweight. It's very efficient and drying. And it dries very quickly, which is uh, great for when you're on the road because you don't want to be waiting all day for all your clothes and things to dry. So, so we'll start by pegging down the corners. This is another great little feature of these swags is the um, little fly screen they have. The mattress is very comfortable and made up of a layer of 12 mm high density foam laminated to 50 mm convoluted foam so it rolls up tightly. 
cost-wise, our biker swag with all the little extras was $450 and about $20 for the freight. The bedding, including the minus five sleeping bag, was $85. The tent poles were 22 and I cut three inches off them so they would roll up in the swag. The tent pegs and ropes were $20. How do I rate it? I'd give it a 10 out of 10. It's by no means the cheapest swag on the market, but just remember it's built from first class material and is really well put together, which means it will last for years and we use it pretty well every week. Best of all, we get a great night's sleep, rain, hail or shine. This little veranda is a, uh, when it folds over, is handy for keeping your um, boots and your um, helmet. Uh, keeps the dew off them overnight. And uh, when you get up in the morning, simply a matter, you just fold the uh, crap up, grab your helmet and your boots and they're all nice and dry, ready for the day. Right, now the camp's set up. The washing's done. Uh, it's time to grab that stubby holder I showed you before. And uh, we're just gonna head over to the pub and uh, have a few cold ones. So we'll see you next time.